Hey, what's up, everybody? It's January 18th, 2021, out here in the Big Bear Lake, California area. We are in between Division Road and Stanfield Cutoff. So kind of like, it's that little break in between Big Bear City and Big Bear Lake. This little road here where, and a bunch of people end up always parking on this side to go sledding. I want you guys to be really careful. I saw, as I've warned you guys, a bunch of people getting ticketed. Um, and there's signs literally like every 50 feet that say no parking anytime in big, bold, bold writing. So just please be super careful, guys. I don't want you guys to get a ticket for some BS, you know? You're, you're coming up here already spending a ton of money when it snows because uh, I guess our town just feels like it's the right thing to do to charge a lot when it snows, but like it is what it is. Just like Disneyland, I guess, you know, like you pay like $15 for a damn the worst burger in the world <laughs> maybe it was actually like 18 if i remember correctly last time i was there but yeah so that's that's my story and i'm sticking to it but anyway just wanted you guys to see what's going on this is the calm before the storm um we are not anticipating much weather to come in at least that's how it looks right now it doesn't even look like any accumulation according to my weather app um but some some other forecasters believe that we could see up to six inches up here so we shall see <coughs> bless me that's snow summit right there and that's bear mountain on the left up top there they, they, they got plenty of snow at the ski resorts you guys and as i'm doing this video you guys know that there's going to be some more snow coming in as i said some some forecasters think we could get up to like six inches but um you know, I'll be positive, but you know, my guess is like three inches at the most. But I'm hoping I'm way off. But yeah, so we're just gonna go do a little drive right now, drive through the town so you guys can see what it what it looks like right now. If you want to come up here before the storm, and just uh, yeah, cruise, have a good time. So while we're at the light, I'm gonna stop it. All right, you guys. So the storm is supposed to be hitting here um, tomorrow afternoon about this time tomorrow afternoon it's noon right now maybe a little bit later than this tomorrow and then I'm checking into a hotel up here tomorrow and I'm gonna do a video for you guys there um, I'm checking into the lodge at Big Bear Lake it's that really big resort uh, next to the village it used to be called Northwoods and it's a Holiday Inn resort so I'm going to be staying there and we rented the hospitality suite. It's the biggest suite they have and we're going to be there for three nights for the snowstorm. So I'm excited. I just wish we were getting more snow. Originally it said possibly up to like 8 to 12 inches, but it's not. I don't know if that's going to happen. But anyway, let me turn this off for a sec. All right, we're back up. So, yeah, we're just cruising through town. You guys can, can get a nice look at what it, it looks like. And uh, right now I just got a notification from my app, the Weather Channel app. That's the one that I use the most, you guys. I've been up here for almost six years, and the one that's been the most reliable, even though they all use the same information, which is kind of weird how they can be so different when they all get their forecasting information from the same two, two models, the European and the U.S. model. Um, and yeah, kind of nuts. But yeah, look at this, just like no snow. Obviously in some of the neighborhoods, you guys, up here to the left, closer you get to the mountain over there, you will get a little more snow, but it's in the neighborhoods on people's lawns and stuff. So just be really careful that you're looking for no trespassing signs and stuff like that. If you if you do come up and we don't get a lot of snow from this storm, um, just be super careful, you guys. I want you guys to have fun, but I don't want you guys to get in any trouble. Trouble's no bueno. Definitely not. Trouble is no good. We don't like to get in trouble, my friend. It's a very bad thing, my friend. Big Bear Boulevard. Woohoo! You gotta love it. I don't know why, but you just, I don't know. You really don't have to love it at all. I don't love it at all. I don't like Big Bear Boulevard. It's the boulevard of broken dreams. <laughs> uh, 
I'm so funny. I'm funny looking. Oh, we got another red light here. Wonderful. Let's stop it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go through the village and then we're going to take the back roads from the village to get back to Moonridge Road. Okay, you guys? So follow me. As I say, when I do this stuff, I know sometimes some, some of the um, irrational locals get upset about it when I show you guys the local faster ways to get from one side of town to the other. But your time is valuable to me. I don't want you guys spending a long time in traffic um, when you're already being overcharged to stay up here. In a lot of cases, I'm not saying all, and I'm not disparaging my town in, it, in any way. I'm just saying that it's, it gets pretty expensive when it snows up here. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, we're gonna go right through the rest of this part of town, and then we're gonna hang a left into the village. Raw into the village, man. light camera off. <laughs> Alright, so we got the camera back on. And yeah. Range Rover blast them with my train horn. And I think we're gonna have a chance to do that. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. I get a little irritated sometimes driving, I do. And I know that's one one of the other things that I need to really work on. But yeah, we're gonna do that right right now. There you go. You guys ready? So here we are, you guys. When you guys come into town, you're usually coming from that direction over here. And we're gonna go through the village right here. All right, through the village, guys. And this is the hotel we're staying at right here. So we check in tomorrow. And we're staying in the biggest suite they offer in this big place right here, you guys. And I'll be here for three nights. Just pimping it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, there's no one there. This is going to be so awesome. I'm going to get the whole hotel to myself. Actually, probably not because it's going to be snowing, which means that hotel is going to fill up quickly. I don't know how I got the suite for the price I did, you guys, especially with a snowstorm coming in. Because as I say, usually when we get notifications of snow all of a sudden the Expedia and the orbits and all those prices are always off because the hotels a lot of them tend to raise the prices as I said I can understand it it's just frustrating it's not like they're really doing anything wrong it's it's just I wish they would take better care of of all of us but at the same time when you really think about it since we are so seasonal up here um, we only have really two seasons for anything it's winter time and then just a, a small summertime season for the boats and stuff um so i can understand that we only have two seasons to make four seasons worth of money so that's very understandable but once again i love you guys to death man and without you guys coming up here and spending money and just having a great time we we don't have squat up here so thank you guys and we're, and we're gonna go right through the village right here make a left oh yeah and I don't know why I just did that because that's not the shortcut to Moonridge so on our next street we're gonna turn right and then I'll show you how to do the shortcut to Moonridge I don't know why I just did this what is wrong with me please don't respond to that guys because there's a lot wrong with me there'll be a lot wrong with me my friend it's a lot that is wrong with me my friend I can't read it, my friend. I am the Egyptian magician. 
Any of you uh, who are my age, like 40, do you guys remember uh, the Jerky Boys? <laughs> I had all their albums, man. I had all their albums. I was gonna honk my horn to say hi to my friend who lives here, but those horses were right next to me and I will not do that. If I freaking scared one of those horses and they fell down or something, like I'm the type of person who would like kill myself. Like <laughs> seriously. I, I I I get really devastated if if I'm the cause of of injury for anything. I, I don't like hurting anybody. Anything. Okay, so back to this street. This was the main street in the village that we're coming up to for this cross street. Okay, I'm gonna point that direction so you guys can see. This is the way that you that we came in through the village that way. That's where the, the hotel is. So instead of turning at that stop sign to the right, we made a left, stay straight on this, and then go over here, and just stay on Pennsylvania here. So Big Bear Elementary, Honey Bear Lodge, if you're seeing these things the way that I am, you're, you're, you're doing this the proper way. So just follow this all the way around, and then this is gonna take us to, uh, I think it's a dead end and then we turn left at the dead end I could be wrong I know these streets like the back of my hand when I'm driving them but trying to remember sometimes I I have to see you know uh, oh watch out squirrel I have to see uh, landmarks and stuff like that or like certain types of trees that I remember where they're at and then I can I can remember the rest of the route but yeah I'm not sure if we hit a dead end or if this is the street where there's the sign that just basically says uh, not a through street and then you're forced to turn left. It's pretty easy, you guys. The signs will pretty much help you for the most part. So this is Knight Avenue we're passing. Taco Bell is on Knight Avenue. For all you healthy people. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it does come to the dead end up here when we make a left. So these, this is the main back road getting through the main part of town to get from one side of the main part of town to the other. Where it becomes a nightmare scenario is when you're on, um, on the up, like over by Boulder Bay and whatnot. That's when you lack the back roads and it can get absolutely crazy. So turn right on Oak. So we dead ended back here, we made a left and then we turn right on our first street called Oak. So now this is the street that I'm talking about. If you don't know which street to turn down, there will be a sign up, up here that says this is not a through street. And so we're, we're gonna be forced to make a left turn there. Or it says something like, uh, yeah, look, see, here we come. It says not a through street. And then there's a big sign on the left that says through traffic. So yeah, so we, we have to make a left here if we wanna get through. So now we are getting through here past Cockstock. <laughs> um, I think I really want to do like an old retro video. I know like, like, cause I don't care really about the monetization and stuff. Like really? Cause it doesn't pay me anything and like not a big deal. But to do a retro video of how I was when I first started this this channel, like every other word would be a curse word and cussing at someone. <laughs> I would lose a lot of fans, but I would definitely put that I would uh, like on the video. This is a retro video. It's not made for children. Please, you know, keep your women and, ch and kids away from it because I'm behaving the way that I used to. I think that'd be kind of fun because this like it, if this begins to feel like a job, as I've said before, if it feels like a job at all, I'm not going to do it anymore. Like, uh, like it, it's, I, I can't let it get to that point. That's why I have to keep on doing this the way that I do it. Because yeah, this is so much fun. I love doing this. Oh, you know what? Okay, we just turned on Brownie Lane. I'm sorry about that, you guys. I think we're, no, wait. Yes, we're on Brownie. 
so yeah we were just on oak and then we uh yeah oh man i hope you guys were following it while i'm rambling this is thrush street this is the exit for snow summit to the right so everyone comes down that way coming towards us like this guy to leave snow summit and then the entrance for Snow Summit is on the next big cross, or the, or the next major city block called uh, Summit Boulevard. That's the entrance. But yeah, guys, look at this. And then this is where Triple G fights, or or used to. He used to live and train there, I believe. Triple G! I never realized the guy was so little. I was expecting some huge, like, Russian monster. And he's not a Russian, or... I was really surprised. But the dude can bang. Let me bang, bro. Let me bang. I, I am. I am letting you bang. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so look, we're on Brownie still, and that's Big River Boulevard. We just crossed Summit Boulevard, and look, 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 look where we are. We didn't have to take any of the main streets and we're about to enter Moonridge. I think that's very cool, my friend. I think that's very cool. But we're gonna turn right here so we can go into the neighborhood so you guys can see some of the snow. As I said, I'm not trying to get you guys to go onto people's properties. That's exactly what I'm trying not to do. Because that's one thing that I have to have a, a ton of respect is for my fellow neighbors. Not that I have to, but I want to. It's much easier living in harmony than it is in a stressful, angry situation. So I try to be as good as I can and just respect these people as much as I can. Because they're, you know, they're grace, they're kind enough to let me, you know, reside up here and make my new domicile up here. So I'm very, very, very pleased. Now we're gonna turn on Evergreen. I gotta turn on Evergreen, man. So you can see some of the, oh, that snowman has seen better days. Hey bro, you need some water or something? Yeah, there's something wrong with him. I think he's on crack. That's a, that's a, that's a crack man. That wasn't a snowman, that, that, that guy had some problems. Didn't you see like, he was super skinny and stuff? I, I think that was a tweaker man. <laughs> Oh man. Dude, I love it. And this one right here, it's always so deceiving. I've always wanted to rent this place, and I will one day, I guarantee you, but it's so deceiving. It seems so huge, but then when you look at it from the side, look at how narrow the house is. It's like, ah. Oh, I love it. I want to stay here. I'd like to stay here. Because these houses go down the hill. Like, how cool is that? And then there's another big Airbnb that is this huge, huge house up here on the corner that I'd like to stay. It looks big from the outside, but I guarantee you it's one of those houses that's a lot bigger on the inside than it looks on the outside, although it looks large on the outside. That's what she said. Um, but looks can be deceiving. <laughs> this is the place I'm, I'm I'm talking about. It's a pretty big big place, man. And they rent it out for Airbnb. Pretty cool. You gotta love it. And they got a lot of nice nice little cute places up here. And then we're gonna eventually stay here at Apple's Bed and Breakfast. But we are staying, as I said, at the biggest hotel this town offers. Actually, it's the biggest hotel the the uh, mountain range offers, to be honest. So, anyway, love you guys. That was just a quick little drive to show you guys what is up in our town and get ready for the snowstorm coming. As I said, it's probably not gonna be much, but, um, you know, um, I'm just, I don't have ex really high expectations, so. Anyway, I love you guys a lot. Hope you guys take care. And January 18, 2021, Big Bear Lake, California. Get ready for the snow. Peace! Hurry, hurry.